on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Louise, what's that you have? Hmm? In your arms, don't play dumb. Oh. Nothing. It's just a... <clears throat> Does it smell edible? Well, I would hope not. It's just a child. What... What have you... I've done nothing wrong. I just went to visit an old friend, and... You have a friend. Why is this the first time I'm hearing of this? Well, you don't know everything about me. Mm. I suppose not. But still. Why do you have the child? You know what's happening, don't you? Hmm? What's about to occur? Ah, uh, yes. I do. Wait, you're not telling me. Mm hmm. The child. Of course. <clears throat> but what about. No need to fear. I would suggest that you would be more than happy to fulfill that duty. So what am I supposed to be doing while you raise this kid? Sleep. That's what you do most of the time when you're not doing your job, isn't it? Wrong. I do other things as well. Oh yes, you also fight and pretty much bring fear upon anyone in the universe. Who happens to see you? Not to mention, you eat a lot and destroy anyone who makes a bad meal without even giving them a chance to do better next time. Well, they knew I was coming to feast with them, so they should have made their best ever. That was the best thing they could have made. They don't have much experience with the palate of you. Hmm. Whatever. So you're not trying to replace me? Oh no. If anything, that would be too easy. I want an actual challenge. You really think replacing me? Yes. I have no doubt in my mind. So, run along and sleep or eat or whatever it is you uh, do in your spare time without care in the world. Very well. Whatever. As yes, this is pretty much how this began. Because the Izuku's raising for Weez, it's difficult for him to actually raise a baby. Especially since this is before the whole you know Jambo Jambo Z Kai all that stuff happened. The only thing is the fact that yeah, he's not good with raising a baby. At the very least, he's like, oh, I can't wait for this kid to actually be potty trained. It's almost as bad as looking after Beerus. Which, as you can imagine, Beerus is sleeping a, a little bit. While Whis is taking care of Izuku. Changing him may be an issue, but feeding him... Uh, is he? 
Weeze doesn't really know much for when it comes to the different kinds of formula or drink, getting milk when it comes to babies, so it's a mixed bag of everything. And pretty much having you could taste every single concoction he could get his hands on until yeah. He does come across something easy could like some fees that to him. But he is all too happy when he could finally eat solid food. One thing is since Izuku's been weighed by Whis he, he has had to eat a lot of shit. Whatever Whis does go, go with Beerus. Yeah, it's not that bad. If anything, he does feel kind of sorry for the plans that <laughs> don't satisfy the needs of one such destroyer. By the end of the day, eh, he can't really complain that much. Though you may try to reason with Beerus, Beerus is a stubborn bastard. Hmm. So, let's get to it, your training. What? Oh yes, you see, you are going to be a great hero one day. Really? Will I be strong enough to... What? Um, I don't think I should say. Go on, you've piqued my interest. Will I be strong enough to beat beers? I heard that! <laughs> How? <laughs> These ears aren't just for show. Oh. Oh, I, I am very sorry. No. The damage is done. So you really think you can beat me? Well, no. Of course not. I, I would never think that. Hmm. Yes. Really? Yes. You will be able to defeat Lord Beerus if you require it. Alright. Um, so, what's first? First things first, we need to build up your muscle. Really? But I think I have about as much muscle mass as you. Uh. <laughs> Excuse me, is there something funny? Lord Beerus. <clears throat> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> Either way, when it comes to <clears throat> me, uh... What is it people would say uh, nowadays? Um, I'm built different. Oh. So you don't need... No, I do not need that amount of muscle mass as you do. In fact, I can beat Beerus right now with one attack. Uh, really? Can I? No, I don't want to hurt my lord's pride. Oh. <clears throat> Well, at the very least, uh, how will that really help me? Believe me, it will come in handy sooner or later. Now, why don't we begin your training? If you're done with the insults. I, I didn't mean to. I know, but the pain is still there. First things first, as yes, the same amount of training that Goku and Vegeta would later on be, be doing is happening here. Izuku pretty much taking care of Beerus whenever he's sleeping, as well as pulling weeds when it comes to the whole weights thing. He's still a kid, so they're at least heavy. For a child. 
They're not the same weight as Goku or Vegeta's were. But you gotta admit, thinking that you're gonna fall to your death is one hell of a motivator to get your strength when you need it. Because when it comes to key training, Izuku does know how to use it very easily. Since Whis is a very good instructor, he knows that kids will pick up on things easier, more showing and explaining mixture. So yes, by the time when he's six, yes, he's very good using key. One thing is Whis is pretty much like <sighs> Though yes, you are quite proficient in using your key, you still fail to unlock what you need. What's that? Well, what you have is standard, at least above average, I could say. What do you mean? Well, throughout history, key is used as more of an enhancement or spiritual energy to the point where you can't really see it but feel it. The way you can use it now is more advanced than most. Really? Mm hmm. But when it comes to your mm, overall power, I say it would be rather lacking for what you need to be the hero you are destined to be. Oh. Hmm. Well, how much time do I have? Not the way you're going, not enough. But don't worry. I'm sure you can uh, pick up on it sooner or later. So, this key I need, what level is it? God level. What? You mean like... Yes, like me and, well, technically I'm an angel, but you could say similar to Lord Beerus. Oh, but how long will that take me to, it depends on how serious you are about becoming a hero as well as training. I mean, at the very least. Oh. Okay, so can we train some more? As long as you're prepared for the backlash. What do you mean? As Izuku the next day is sore all over. Especially when it comes to him overexerting himself with key usage as well as pretty much overall physical exhaustment of exercise. Though yes, we does feel kind of bad. He's like, I told you to be ready for the backlash. He's good, just smiles and says, well, if this is gonna make me stronger, yes, but just don't destroy your body. I'm not sure if I might be good enough to reverse any damage damage. Which, of course, he's lying about, but it does make it so Izuku is more careful. Now, Izuku is now around the ripe age of eight. Though he still does want to know more about his destiny of being a great hero, Luis is still not telling him much of anything. Which does frustrate him. He does ask Beerus, but Beerus is like, I don't care enough to tell you why we're doing this. <sighs> if anything, wake me when dinner's ready. Oh, come on, you have to. Why are you like this? What? 
lazy. Uh, lazy? You have no idea how hard I work. You don't know the lengths I have to go to to be so good at my job. The stress of being a god destruction. Really? Yes! It is very hard work, very demanding. Really? Yes. Okay. So, eating, sleeping, fighting whoever you want, destroying countless planets on a whim, whenever you have a tantrum, destroying planets by flying all the gods straight through them, plus the core. That's stressful for you. What are you saying? You're a lazy bastard who's complaining too much. And this is when Beerus just backhands Izuku. They, how dare you criticize my lifestyle? <laughs> huh? Yes, he's a good pretty much. You know what? I haven't fought you before. I trained with Master Whis, but never you. What are you doing? Come on. Let's fight. What the hell? He's starting to remind me of the Saiyans. As, yes, Izuku just lunges at Beerus, and Beerus is pretty much dodging, ducking, all that shit. He's like, kid, I don't want to hurt you. Oh, come on, why are you such a chicken? I'm not being chicken, I don't want to hurt you. Come on, you can't hurt me. Oh, wait, you're right, I'd kill you with one attack. <laughs> there's, there's no way. I destroy planets, boy. Do you think a little brat like you would stand a chance? I. That's what I thought. So, if anything, listen to Wheeze. Don't bother me again, and you better not start criticizing my lifestyle choices. It's my life to live, and I choose to be in luxury. So you admit that you're lazy. <laughs> oh, you spent too much time with us, considering how much of a smartass you are. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> What in the world? Uh, at the very least. Hopefully he gets he's ready by the time it happens. As now we cut to a ten year old Izuku. He's training with Weez. He's pretty much exhausted afterwards. Weez is constantly drawing more his mark on Izuku's clothes, much to the annoyance, but also like, dang it, how are you so fast in this? Weez, of course, being the way he is, it's like, you have to try harder. I've been training with you all my life. How am I not unlocked God Key yet? Hmm. Perhaps you weren't meant to be a true hero. Hmm. If anything, maybe uh, I was wrong. Uh, what? <sighs> Shame. Your mother trusted me with you. Because of what I said. But perhaps you would have been better off with her. Not special. At all. Like mom. <laughs> 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 
you and talk to me about my mom. As then we notice it's this sudden spike in energies. What? It seems that uh, you're upset of something. How are you going to talk to me about my mom? Hmm. Because I know her. At least, I did. Which is why... As yes, this is when Izuku punches Whis, but Whis doesn't even move. So, hmm, I just seem to have struck a nerve. Yes, it's nice to see that you know so much about my mother when I haven't even gotten to see her face. Hmm, interesting. But, hmm. Ultimately sad. If anything, maybe if you were strong enough, I, you would have gained the right to see her. To meet her, finally. As yes, this puts Yuzuku into a blind rage. Much to Reese's, like, of course it does. But still thinking, let's see how far I can take this. So he's starting to hurl more and more insults at Izuku. Pretty much making him feel like he's useless. No matter how hard he's trying, it doesn't seem to be enough. Much to his anger and furious rage. Until then, Reese starts to see... The aura starting to flow through Izuku. It's not his usual green key. It's more along the lines of red and fiery. As then his eyes start to change color. And his hair, though not spiky as hell, it is still sporing a nice fiery red. Is Whis is pretty much taking each and every one of the punches. Then he wants Izuku to come to calm down a little bit, or at least boost a little bit of that confidence. So he purposely starts to look more and more beat up. He, whenever Izuku punches, Whis seemingly gets pushed back. But Izuku's onslaught does not stop there. Him seeing that he's actually hurting Whis, he just lays it on. Much to the point where Beerus actually wakes up, not by his damn hourglass bomb alarm clocks, but the fight itself, as well as sensing the new god key that has arisen. So. Huh. I can't believe he actually did it. Uh, at the very least, maybe he will be ready by the time it occurs. Hmm. But at the very least, he should hopefully be ready in time to reveal this destiny nonsense. But as soon as Zuku does finally stop fighting Whis, it's pretty much well done. You've done it! What? You have a lot god key. Excuse me? Yes. Very well done. I am very proud of you. But you just said... Yes. I can't believe I fell for that. Oh, I can. I mean, I am such a good actor. No, no, you're not. No, no, you are one of the worst actors I have ever seen. If anything, I am even more embarrassed of the fact that you fooled me. You could just say that I'm a good actor and not feel like that. Oh, no. At the very least, I want... Hurt your pride a little bit, too. <gasps> Why well, aren't you just a cheeky one? 
considering who I live with. I'll take that as a compliment. Izuku just trying to get a feel for the Gaki again. Having it flare up a little, just not so much that he can just keep it on. If he wanted. Him flying off, but Whis is pretty much... Hmm. Very good. I can't believe he, he actually fell for that. I can. I am a no you're not. Well, the very least. <sighs> he woke me up. And you will suffer the consequences for riling him up. Excuse me. I'm hungry. Feed me. <laughs> well, surely you jest. I mean, I just took quite the beating. No, you didn't. Seriously, don't, don't, don't insult my ten old gents, Louise. Very well. Hmm. Tell your Majoria to meet me in the kitchen. Yes. Now, Izuku, upon finally unlocking God Key, he trains with it. Really trying to tap into it whenever he, he sees fit. He doesn't know whenever he's going to use it, if anything, but if that's the next step to achieving his full potential, why not? Because the, using it during training, he doesn't for some reason. We, of course, is like, okay, you don't want to use it, you don't have to. Beerus is wondering... Why isn't he using it? Izuku's answer is pretty obvious. When he tells him, like, well, I don't want to just depend on it. If I use that instead of just training in my base form, that pretty much means I'm using it as a last resort. I really want to. Like, why I need it? Not whenever I want to pretty much destroy things or win a fight. I want it to be my last resort. Something I would use when it's needed or, you know. Last thing I need it to be is like a battle ready form. Though, yes, being able to switch it on and off comes in handy. I do want it to be a secret to a certain extent. Hmm. So, kind of like you finally getting serious. Exactly. If anything, given its color and the way it really makes me look, it's more like me saying the gloves are off. Like when I actually assess the threat as something that my normal power won't be able to, it won't be enough, you could say. Oh, that's very clever. Especially if no one knows that you can use it, you won't have to worry about anyone. Hmm. Yeah. Because with this form, yes, I can technically one-shot some people, but it's not going to be much worth it if people start hearing whispers of me being able to use it throughout the universe. <laughs> I mean, wait. Um, Lord Beerus, how's your brother doing? <laughs> Why? I'm just, I know, why? Why do you care about what Chomp buzzed up to? Did he say anything? Uh, no. Hmm. Luis. Yes, my lord. Mm -mm. What has Chompa said to Izuku? Oh, nothing. If anything, it's my sister who seems to, to want to butt in in our affairs. 
Champa just wants to gorge himself with our food. Really? So she does know what's going to uh, happen, doesn't she? Yes. If the boy is not ready to fulfill his destiny, it's quite obvious what's going to happen. So, how are things on your end? Uh. Oh, right. My lord, have you... You haven't been doing your duty, have you? The task I sent you out to accomplish, you haven't done it. Uh, well. Oh my goodness, you truly haven't. Are you truly saying that you... Uh, what? Uh, <coughs> oh, nothing. Nothing to worry about, young Isuku. Right, Lord Beerus? Uh, mm. I suggest you get to your task before Isuku becomes ready. Uh, right. <laughs> I will get right on that right after dinner. No, I suggest you find someone now. <laughs> Very well. Beerus just leaving. He's so confused like... I know you're his master, but why was he so scared of you a moment ago? Oh no, nothing, nothing to worry about. At the very least, um, there's something we need to worry about, uh, but not, not now. Let's just continue with your training, shall we? Very well, so what's next? Well, now that you can use God Key, your training is uh, already strenuous enough. But I believe you're actually ready for even more. Like these weights, just like how their weight increases upon my direction. As well as these weeds, you're going to be expected to pull them even faster. What? In our training, I'm going to start using permanent paint. What? Oh yes, which means your clothes will slowly be ruined if I am able to leave my mark on them. But th th that's not fair! Oh, believe me, life is not fair. I think those poor inhabitants of the plants Lord Beerus destroyed feel. Certainly, they didn't deserve the complete destruction of their planets as well as the inhabitants. Hmm. Yeah, I understand. But what about the Akkosians? Hmm? What of them? If anything, I've been hearing a lot about, you know, what? It seems like uh, this one of them, uh, I think his name was Chilled, or Chilled, whoever. Yeah, I heard that he died uh, saying something. Like uh, he's warning everyone about a super salad or super um, Saiyan. There it was, yeah. Oh. So you were listening. Of course. I mean, there's not much else to do around here besides eat, sleep, train, trying to die. Well, I can assure you there's nothing for you to worry about. Hmm. Are you sure? Because it's Super Saiyan. It seems like something we need. might need to keep an eye on or something. 
What would you suggest? Well, if anything, because the Accursions, they are very powerful. How? From birth, they already have amazing power. Nothing compared to ours, but still, for someone to do that to one of them, hmm. Yes, I do see your point, young Midoriya. So, do you believe we should keep an eye on the Saiyans? Well, I won't say like that. I'm just saying... Mm, make sure they're not too problematic. I mean... Yeah, at the very least, I don't think we ever came across any... Saiyans, have we? Hmm. No, I don't believe we have. But at the very least, I do get what you're saying about one being able to kill an incursion. Though there are several more powerful races. Incursion. Hmm. Yes. I believe if they actually train, they could attain even greater power. And then there's their transformations. Though from why can possibly tell, Child wasn't, didn't transform, did he? No, I don't believe he did. So at the very least, when it comes to this... Super Saiyan. It seems as though, yes, they were actually very powerful. If it's enough to take on the incursion, yeah, of course. But at the very least, we have to think about the whole. Chill didn't have a chance to even transform. So. This Saiyan, or this Super Saiyan, could be a ruthless warrior that won't hesitate to finish off an enemy. Though that can be admirable quality, it can also be a very dangerous one. Like, how ruthless can a Saiyan be? Hmm. Do you think we should exterminate them if they're found? No. Possibly keep them under surveillance some type. If nothing else, we just take a look at their growth. See how strong they could be. I'd like to know, know a little bit more about them, definitely. We're saying the best in the Christian is not. Huh. I mean, usually numbers would do the trick, or but one warrior. That's something I don't see too often. So it would be very uh, helpful to know what would could be a very. Problematic race. Hmm. I do believe you do have some point. I could run it by beers if you like. No. Nope. nope, that's. Can't. Why not? Knowing him, he'll probably have them ordered to be extinguished once he feels like they're too much of a bothered to really deal with himself. Hmm. I would like to disagree with you, but you do seem to have a pretty good point. We can put up in this idea later.